the Father. their child killed in the hands of the enemy without even a drop of water that even the enemies give to the animals before they slaughter them. In the afternoon on Yom al Ashur it is said that Umm Salama was sleeping in the afternoon and she sees a dream whereby she sees Rasulullah, his hair is disheveled and dusty. And she sees him in a state that she's never seen before. And he comes towards her with a bottle in his hand <coughs> and says, and this bottle is the blood of all the martyrs. I have been collecting it since the morning. Umm Salma wakes up fearing the worst. And when she goes to the bottle which was given to her, the sand of Karbala, she sees it has turned red. And she knows that the grandson of the Prophet is no more. This was the day that she found it difficult to tell Fatima Sohara, 
who was expecting her brother Ali Asghar to return, Abdullah. How do you tell a young child that your brother is not coming back? Your uncle Abbas is not coming back. Your brother Ali Akbar is not coming back. And your father is not coming back. <coughs> Fatima Zuhra did not know that, why everybody was lamenting and crying. It's only when the caravan reached back into Medina, where she starts looking into each Mahmil, where is Ali Asghar? Where is Abdullah? But it took courage on the part of Bibi Zainab Salamullah to tell her that he is in a better place. On Yom Al Ashur, the enemies were asking, is there anyone left to fight us? Imam al Hussein heard the call. When he hears the call, he goes back into the tents, fearing the worst. He now has to say farewell to all the ladies in the tents. Ya Ukhti Zainab, Umme Kulthum, my nieces and children, I have come to bid you farewell. Zainab, it is now the time for you that our mother had promised us about, to be strong, for I am leaving you. And she was looking at her brother for the last time, just as she looked at her sons, Aun and Muhammad. And so he bids her farewell, and he goes on the horse. Zuljana, take me to my final resting place. To the place where I am going to meet my Lord. Take me there. Zuljana walks a few steps and then he stops. Zuljana, why are you not moving? The horse turns his face. And Imam al Hussein turns his face and sees that Sukaina is holding the horse. And pleading and saying, Zuljana, don't take my father to a place where nobody has returned. Nobody has come back from where you are taking my father. I will be an orphan if he doesn't return. Imam al Hussein gets off the horse and tells his daughter, and there were two of them, and he tells one of them, Don't worry, my daughter, you will join me soon. Just have patience for a little while longer, and you will join me soon. And then he goes to see his son Ali. And Ali is lying on the bed. His father walks in, and he looks at the face of his father. My father, what has happened to you? What has happened to your hair? It has become white in just one day. And the father does not say anything. He is quiet. My son, I have come to bid you farewell. 